Hey guys, uh, in this video, I will demonstrate how to create the student data warehouse based on the operational student database uh, using the ETL. So this student database has two tables and you should already have it uh, if you have completed the module three of this course. But if you haven't, please go back to module three and use the script I posted there to uh, create this operational student table. So in this video, I will show you how to use a new sets of scripts to create another database called student DW, okay, the data warehouse version of the student table, uh, which has a one fact table called submission and four dimension tables. And so in other words, we are trying to transform this student to assignment table relation into the data warehouse version of the student uh, data modeling. Uh, so this, okay, so this is called star schema in data warehousing, uh, where we have one fact table in the middle surrounded by several other dimension tables. Okay, so um, this is the new structure that we are trying to uh, build in SQL Server. And technically, uh, this is done by just creating the full uh, dimension tables plus one fact table uh, using SQL query first. And then uh, we are going to load the data from the original data source, which is student in this case. Okay, we're gonna load the data uh, okay, so ETLE extraction, extracting the data from here, then load the data into their corresponding data fields in student DW tables. Okay. And for this uh, SQL query implementation, uh, I have already prepared all the SQL query scripts that you need, uh, which include six um, SQL files, uh, which you can download from the canvas. So after you download these scripts, you will be ready to use them to create the student DW uh, data warehouse I am showing you. Okay. So uh, I will be deleting this student DW data warehouse for now. Okay, to start uh, from scratch. Okay, now it's gone. So in order to use this script, uh, actually uh, it's quite simple. Uh, all you need to do is to double click each script. And if you are given this, uh, how do you want to open this file uh, window? Uh, please choose SSMS, uh, which will automatically open the C SQL file inside your SSMS and uh, then you just need to execute it okay. and move on to the next file uh, double click uh, execute okay. so it should be super simple uh, but just in case uh, for some of you if double click doesn't work you can also uh, right click edit this file to open it in a notepad uh, because the SQL file that I prepared is simply just uh, plain text files uh, that contains the SQL queries you need to perform ETL. So alternatively, you can open this file, Ctrl plus A to select all, Ctrl plus C to copy it, uh, or right click and copy. Then go back to the SQL, uh, SSMS, Okay, go back to SSMS and refresh your server to get this student DW database. Then right click on it, select new query. And then paste the thing you just copied uh, from the SQL file, then execute. Okay, so these are two different ways to execute the SQL script that I prepared. Uh, but most of you should be able to just double click each file following the order, okay, 2.3, then 
And you just execute them one by one, and that should be it. Okay. So when you execute the query number 2.4 insert into dimension time, uh, please be patient because it's going to take a while to generate this time dimension table. So on my computer, it took me about two to three minutes for this query uh, execution to complete. Okay, so just be patient. Okay, it's done uh, because this table has over 80,000 rows. So it took a while to uh, complete this query. So now I can move on to the last script here and execute. Okay, so this is pretty fast. All right, so after executing all the scripts, uh, you can just uh, refresh the refresh the object explorer to see the complete uh, structure of the data warehouse uh, generated by the ETL script. Okay, so basically it has all the dimensions, including such as assignment dimension that has 12 assignment records data and student dimension okay the date dimension okay so basically date dimension is a list of dates uh, but with more details regarding each exact date such as their uh, whether they are holiday whether they are weekday or weekends the name of the month, week, and day, and so on. Okay, and the time dimension is similar to the date, but it's for every single second in a day. There are detailed information like these. Okay, and finally, the fact table uh, showing the 72 assignment submission records, uh, but uh, the assignment submission records are coded by the keys student key assignment key date key and time key corresponding to each dimension table okay. and the numerical measure for each record is the score and in this example uh, there's one thing i need to point out that uh, we were transforming this two table structure into the star schema with the five table uh, structure. Okay, so uh, to demonstrate ETL, uh, I made this example, um, but you may wonder uh, why we are making things more complicated. Uh, so this is because uh, we wanted to simplify the ETL scripts. Uh, as you can see, just transforming from the two tables into five tables already took us uh, these many SQL scripts. If you open them, uh, you can see uh, there's quite uh, a lot of lines in those uh, script files. Okay. So I just wanted to simplify the ETL process as much as possible. So we, uh, I was using this two table to five table example here. Okay. But just to let you know that in practice, uh, we are usually transforming uh, more than five tables. Okay. Probably in the operational table of the uh, business, they may have like 30 tables and the required data is scattered here and there. And the ETL process needs to transform the 30 tables into a simplified five or six table version. Okay. No matter what it is, uh, it's a star schema after the transformation. Okay, so that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.